सांस सांस सिमरन करो सांस व्यर्थ न जाए ना जाने के सांस में अंतिम क्षण आ जाए लेट डिस्कस अबाउट द चैप्टर दैट इज द लिविंग वर्ड एंड इन दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सम ऑफ द बुक्स विच वर रिटर्न दैट इज द हिस्टोरी एनिमेलिया इट वॉज रिटर्न बाय द फादर ऑफ बायोलॉजी एंड एंड ही इज अरिस्टोटन एंड हिस्टोरिया जनरल इज प्लेंटरम एंड इट वॉज रिटर्न बाय जॉन रे एंड इन दिस द सेक्शुअल सिस्टम रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ प्लांट्स Uh, is given and uh, then another book is species plantarum in this the uh, nomenclature of the uh, plant is given and uh, nomenclature i c z n was uh, uh, from uh, is operated from uh, 1964 and uh, uh, for plant that was for animal and for plant uh, 15 or uh, 1753 and then uh, what are the some of the like uh, uh, lectotype lectotype when uh, there is original material is missing uh, holotype is missing and then uh, uh, then if we are choosing from the uh, that uh, from the original material then it is called the uh, lectotype and uh, neotype when original holotype was there but now it's missing Uh, now if we are choosing from the materials then it's called the neotype and then isotype it's the duplicate of the uh, that is holotype and holotype what is holotype holotype uh, it's the uh, that uh, specimen which was selected for the description of that particular uh, uh, that is organism and uh, then now come to the that is uh, uh, that is carlos linnaeus has uh, given the uh, nomenclature system for the plant and animal and uh, he said that it should be uh, latinized irrespective of the origin and should be written in italics and if they are written hand written they should be underlined separately and uh, then the first uh, word should be of genus and second of species and uh, the first letter of a genus should be capital and the first and uh, the letters of species uh, should be a small letter and then next come to the that is the hierarchy and uh, in this there is a uh, there is species uh, if uh, going we are uh, upper side then there is species genus and uh, family order class either phylum or division and then there is a the kingdom then come to the, that is species species can be recognized on the basis of uh, their uh, specific characters present present in them and uh, on the uh, that is what does mears concept of species says that species uh, are those organisms which can interbreed uh, uh, easily and uh, two closely related species can be uh, 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 distinct in their morphological features and then next uh, like uh, there is a uh, nigra and uh, melonchina and uh, so these are two different species and next come to the genus that is a de- genus are a group of uh, closely related species and uh, like solanum is a genus and uh, then uh, Uh, then next come to the under genus solanum uh, two species like uh, nigra melonchina comes and under solanum genus solanum uh, potato and brinjal under the same genus solanum and uh, there is panthera uh, genus and under this the species are panthera leo panthera tigris panthera pardus and uh, so then next move to the family family uh, has the uh, are in in family we include the uh, closely related genus and uh, and uh, having the floral vegetative and floral similarities and uh, like uh, felidae under the fa- uh, family felidae there are uh, genus uh, tigris and uh, like uh, lion tiger cat 
लियोपर्ड ऑल कम्स एंड अंडर फैमिली कैनिडे देर इज डोग वी वी विल बी सींग देर आर मोर सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन कैट एंड डॉग बट टेक्सोनोमिस्ट सेपरेटेड दैम ऑन द ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सम ऑफ द डिफरेंसेस एंड देन नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट हायर हायर की दैट इज द कैटेगरी ऑर्डर बिकॉज ऑर्डर इज अ हायर कैटेगरी और टेक्सोन दैट्स वाई Uh, we will uh, higher category or rank so uh, in this we will be using the aggregate of characters and uh, like uh, in order uh, carnivora the there is a uh, uh, family canidae and felidae comes and uh, uh, in order poly uh, monials there are family solanaceae and convallaceae are there and uh, uh in in them there is a floral similarity also is present and then after order uh, there is a class and under class mammalia the order primata and carnivora comes and uh, under primata there are uh, humans ape gibbon gorilla are there so next after the class there is a phylum division uh, phylum uh, like phylum chordata and non codata and uh, uh, we will be learning about the sponges and others uh, what would have we what we would have seen or we will see and then uh, under division there is a like uh, spermophyta and uh, spermophyta and uh, non spermophyta and in class there is a monocotyledony or dicotyledony and after the kingdom like uh, uh, five kingdom uh, king, kingdom according to r s whitaker in 1969 uh, was given and like uh, plant animal kingdom monera protista fungi uh, so they are given after the uh, after this move to the that is taxonomic aids what are taxonomic aids which helps in the classification or which helps in the tax uh, uh, doing the classification or identifying the species and the agriculture all in other perspective so these are called the taxonomic aids so different taxonomic aids we are with us so there are keys there are botanical gardens zoological parks there are museum there are herbarium and uh, and uh, recorded descriptions are there so first uh, about the uh, herbarium and in this we uh, first dry press then preserve the specimen or the leaves and uh, uh, in this museum so we are uh, talking about the herbarium so in this uh, first uh, plant parts are dried pressed then preserved and uh, uh, at the right hand bottom the name of the collector place of the collection and uh, local english botanical uh, name uh, is written and the date of collection is also mentioned there and uh, but the variable characters like height uh, they are not mentioned because uh, they vary and uh, the largest herbarium is indian botanical garden uh, in uh, indian botanical garden simpur and uh, there is also the largest botanical garden and uh, then uh, Uh, come to the botanical garden that is it's also a uh, use for the identification purpose and uh, uh, there is a uh, royal botanical garden uh, q england then indian botanical garden in havda kolkata then uh, uh, indian uh, uh, research uh, something about the, uh, n a r i that is indian agriculture research institute uh, national botanical and bri that is national botanical research institute in lucknow and uh, there is also a, a lloyd botanical garden and uh, it is in uh, i think darjeeling then uh, after uh, move to the after botanical garden there is a zoological park in this uh, we uh, keep the animals or their gametes we preserve uh, their gametes also uh, for the uh, we preserve the gametes of those species which are uh, uh, either they extinct or they are about to extinct so that in future uh, from 
uh, from them we uh, can create or the species and under cryo preservation they are preserved and then uh, next uh, there is a uh, and in this uh, those animals are uh, kept here of whom we wanted to study their habitat their food behavior their nature etc and after this come to the uh, taxonomic aid that uh, there is keys keys are two types are of two types indented and uh, bracketed and i think indented key is also called yoked key y o k e d yoked key and uh, 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 using key we identify uh, organism on the basis of uh, construct uh, contrasting characters present in them and they are present uh, in a in two statements called the couplet and uh, one statement is called the lead on the basis of which we will move to the next uh, classification and uh, after key uh, there are some recorded descriptions like flora uh, manual Catalog catalogs are there and the monograph is also there so what is flora flora uh, provides the uh, index of the plant of the species which are uh, present in a particular area and uh, it also uh, tells about the actual habitat of the plant species and uh, it also provides the list of the or index of the plant species and after flora there is a manual uh, it helps in the identify identifying the name of the uh, plant or uh, the any taxon or any plant or animal species and after there is a monograph it provides information on any one taxon whether it is uh, uh, like uh, whether it is phylum species genus so it will provide information on any one text zone and then uh, there is a catalog it also provide index of the species with little uh, description so next move to the biological classification uh, that was all about the uh, living world now biological classification as we have uh, seen that uh, R.H. Whitaker in 1969 has given the uh, five kingdom classification that is the plant animal protista fungi animalia and uh, uh, that is Carl Woos has now proposed the three domain six kingdom classification uh, what he did he separated uh, archaebacteria from eubacteria and uh, from the moneras that he uh, he had seen that there is some difference between the small subunit of ribosome between the rk and u bacteria and uh, uh, it became the major cough cause uh, why he had separated uh, archaebacteria from the u bacteria from the kingdom monera so So now come to the next that is the first uh, let's study about the fungi and uh, uh, fungi are classified on the basis of spore they produce so there is uh, phycomycetes and uh, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes and the deuteromycetes phycomycetes in fungi there is dikaryotic stage is also seen and uh, means dikaryotic stage after the fertilization uh, there is uh, immediately there is no to karyo, uh, karyogamy uh, is after some time so that's why for some time there is a double uh, nucleus condition is seen and that's called the dikaryotic stage and uh, fungi are heterotrophic uh, show absorptive mode of nutrition and uh, uh, they are uh, not with chloroplast and then the next point let's start about the phycomycetes and uh, uh, their obligate parasites of plants and uh, some are obligate or most are obligate parasites of plant and they live on dead and decaying metal matter and uh, then their uh, mycelium is aseptate and synocytic condition is there and they uh, reproduce asexually by the uh, that is zoospore or a planospore is also there and the formation or the and sexual reproduction by the fusion of the gamete uh, and some of the example are mucor rhizopes uh, that is uh, mucor bread mold then rhizopes and the uh, uh, wait 
uh, and uh, the formation of zygospore by the fusion of gametes and it uh, can be isogamous, n-isogamous or oogamous and the uh, example are muca, rhizops, albuco, candida which is a uh, must, uh, white rust cause white rust of mustard and uh, the sporo uh, spore formed endogenously in the sporangia and then next then uh, escomycetes and this uh, most are multicellular but uh, rarely unicellular multicellular penicillin and unicellular that is the yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae and they are also decomposers saprophytic coprophilus parasites and uh, Asexual, uh, their mycelium is septate and branched and asexual reproduction is brought by the uh, formation spore that is the conidia and it is formed exogenously in a special hyphae called the conidio at the tip of the special hyphae called the conidio 4 and uh, then uh, they germ that uh, spore germinate to give a new uh, hyphae and then the sexual reproduction is brought by the formation of a uh, sexual spore that is the eschus and it is formed endogenously in the uh, that is the uh, escocarp body fruiting body uh, at the fruiting body is the escocarp and example like uh, moral and truffle are escomycetes and they are uh, considered as uh, delicacies and uh, then aspergillus uh, is also from this and uh, then there is also like a uh, Wait. Claviceps purpurea and uh, Neurospora. Uh, it is extensively uh, studied in genetics and in bio biotechnology. And uh, then next move to the basidio spores. Uh, Escospore called the uh, sac fungi. Basidio spore called the bract fungi or the puff balls. And uh, their organization is very similar. There is no asexual reproduction is seen in a uh, basidio spore. Uh, vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is very common, and then the uh, sexual reproduction that is uh, uh, sexual by the fusion of two somatic or vegetative cells which are genetically uh, uh, different of different strain are fused, and then there is a formation of uh, uh, Basidium. In Basidium, there is a uh, karyogamy and the karyokinesis uh, there, and there is formation of spore. And in esco spore, there is uh, esco carp. There is eight esco spore are formed, and in basidio carp, there is uh, four basidio uh, spore form. And basidio spore form exogenously in the fruiting body that is the basidio carp and example and uh, some are uh, in basidio mycetes some are obligate parasites like uh, rust and smut fungi rust by the paxenia and smut by the ustilego and uh, that is the uh, agaricus common mushroom and then move to the deutromycetes they are called the imperfect fungi or fungi imperfecti uh, they are uh, called so because uh, uh, no sexual stage is seen in them and uh, now next uh, uh, if the sexual stage is discovered then they are moved to their respective classes wherever they belong and it's also possible that uh, one stage is vegetative stage is named uh, uh, and uh, they are placed under deutromycetes, deutromycetes and uh, uh, sexual stage is named uh, uh, has given another name and placed under sub higher class and uh, they are also decomposed cephalophyte and uh, asexual reproduction by the formation of uh, conidia spore and uh, they are also can be decomposed cephalophyte uh, and uh, but mainly they helps in the uh, they are decomposers helps in the mineral cycling example are uh, alter area coleotrichum and uh, trichoderma then uh, after the fungi next move to the uh, first about the some of the agents which didn't get uh, classified by even not by the rh Whitaker, not by the carl Foos. so let's uh, uh, shed some light on them so in uh, Dmitry Ivanovsky in 1892 has given the term virus uh, first it was given by the Louis Pasteur but it was not for the infectious agent but for the infection a infectious agent uh, the term virus was used by the Dmitry Ivanovsky in 1892 uh, then uh, in 1898 that is the 
Beijer Inc. Uh, has given one statement that is the uh, contagion vivum fluidum for the fluid he had extracted from the uh, tobacco plant and uh, in 1935 Stanley has crystallized the viruses and said this uh, viruses can be crystallized and the crystal mainly formed of the protein and uh, and he also said that the virus has only protein and the genetic material and uh, then uh, the viruses infecting uh, bac vi bacteriophage can have uh, double standard DNA infecting viruses uh, who infect plant can have uh, that is a uh, uh, single standard RNA and uh, the uh, bac uh, virus infecting animals can have a uh, uh, single or double stranded RNA or double stranded DNA and then move to the next agents like uh, in 1971 uh, T.O. Diner has uh, uh, discovered one more agent that is uh, called uh, viroid and uh, viroids are smaller than the virus and uh, they are low molecular weight protein and uh, they are naked RNA genome and uh, there is no even uh, protein coats coat is absent and then uh, they cause the disease that is the spindle tuber disease and uh, then by the phytophthora infestans fungi then uh, next uh, they cause the spindle tuber disease and uh, of a potato then uh, next uh, prion and uh, they are uh, uh, abnormally folded protein and uh, size is similar to viruses and they cause the disease that is the bovine uh, b s e bovine spongy form encephalopathy in uh, the uh, cattle also called the mad cow disease and its analogous variant is seen in human that is the cg c j t uh, c r jacob disease in humans and then uh, lichens they are also not get got classified like they are the very close association of the algae and fungi and if uh, any uh, person uh, just by seeing can't uh, distinguish that uh, these are two different species different organisms are there and uh, so close uh, uh, their relation is there uh, that's why uh, it is called the uh, husband wife relationship and uh, uh, fungal partner is called the mycobiont and the algal partner called the phycobiont and then come to the protozoa protozoa means the primitive animals and uh, they are under the class that is the uh, chrysomycety chrysophytes then uh, dinoflagellate euglenoid and uh, slime mold and uh, uh, protozoa under the protist we are uh, studying about the kingdom that is the protista wait now chrysophytes uh, it include the diatom uh, and decimate that is golden algae they are the mostly photosynthetic marine and aquatic both marine and fresh water and they are plankton means uh, passively floating on water and uh, water current and uh, then diatom has the silica shell and uh, their uh, cell wall is uh, such like they fix uh, on each other as a soap box and after their uh, death, after billions of years, there is a, a, a formation of diatomaceous earth because their cell wall is of uh, silica and they didn't get uh, degraded after their death. So, because uh, uh, that is gritty, so we use that for polishing, for filtering of syrup, etc. And the diatoms are the chief producers of the oceans also. And then next come to the dinoflagellate. Dino means two flagella at their uh, their cell wall has a stiff cellulosic plates and uh, uh, one flagella is longitudinal and other lies in in between the groups of the cellulosic plate and uh, uh, they are of different color whether they can be red green yellow blue uh, depending on the pigment uh, which is present in them and uh, a red dinoflagellate that is the goniolex uh, divide rapidly and uh, due to this uh, the, uh, uh, C uh, appears red and it's called a red tide and uh, uh, it also secretes some toxin which be uh, becomes the uh, death of or extinction of the some of the species and uh, like uh, of fishes. Then euglena and uh, euglena has pellicle pro protein rich, uh, rich layer that is the pellicle uh, instead of uh, the that is uh, 
um, uh, instead of uh, any cell wall stiff cell uh, of cellulose they has a pellicle that's why they are flexible and uh, the pigments which are found in uh, euglena are of higher plants and uh, so uh, euglena are mixotrophic means show both a type of nutrition they can also be autotrophic and can be heterotrophic also and uh, then uh, if uh, in the presence of sunlight they uh, becomes autotrophic and in the absence of sunlight they becomes heterotrophic and feeds on some small fishes and after this come to the slime molds uh, they uh, grow their body grows on dead and decaying matter and uh, there is no cell wall and uh, the uh, plasmodium is there means in uh, in the sinusitic condition is uh, sinusitic condition is seen and uh, under favorable condition uh, they form uh, a plasmodium and uh, under favorable condition there is a multiple fusion is there and there is formation of spore and uh, they uh, uh, spread and form a uh, slime mold next then germinate then under unfavorable condition uh, they don't form a uh, plasmodium and uh, under uh, and uh, the spores has true walls uh, just wait dinoflagellates are mostly marine and euglenoids are mostly of uh, fresh water uh, of uh, aquatic uh, of stagnant water and under favorable condition uh, plasmodium uh, spread uh, several feeds on the dead and decaying matter and during unfavorable condition they uh, do multiple fission and uh, there is formation of spore on the tip of uh, uh, on the tip of which they bear the spore and the these spore has true walls and uh, uh, they uh, these spores survive under uh, uh, very unfavorable condition and spread through uh, air currents and then next move to the protozoa so these are classified on the basis of uh, uh, locomotory structure they are having so first is amoeboid protozoa they move with the help of the uh, pseudopodia which they are having and uh, the silica forms has uh, uh, the marine form has uh, uh, silica shells and uh, that is uh, some are para parasites also like ant amoeba which causes the uh, disease amoebiasis and then uh, uh, next is after ame uh, amoeba there is a ciliate protozoa uh, they uh, move uh, with the help of uh, thousands of cilia and uh, when this cilia moves in a coordinated manner they help uh, in the entering of uh, the uh, water which are laden with the fluid and they also have a gullet food cavity one of the example is the which uh, vibrio and it's uh, vibrio cholera and it causes the disease that is the cholera and uh, ciliate protozoa and uh, one more was there but uh, i'm not getting uh, what was there so next move to the flagellate protozoa and uh, uh, it include the uh, trypnosome uh, trypnosoma and it causes the uh, disease that is the sleeping sickness then there is a sporozoans and uh, uh, wait uh, it was vorticilla and it's a ciliate protozoa then sporozoa sporozoa include the group of organisms having a, a spore like stage in their life cycle one of example is the uh, plasmodium different type are there that is the plasmodium vivax ovale malaria and filciparum uh, and uh, they cause the disease that is a malaria which is a, a, a threat to human uh, kind and uh, uh, the infective stage is the sporozoid and after come to the bacteria that is the uh, archaebacteria and eubacteria archaebacteria like uh, uh, methanogens uh, produce methane and uh, halophiles and uh, thermoacidophiles uh, are there uh, they can survive in extreme condition and it is said that when there 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 was formation of earth then uh, archaea bacteria were present and uh, and no other any and no any other life uh, was there and then you bacteria and it include the cyanobacteria and it is called the blue green algae earlier it was placed uh, in the plant kingdom uh, because of presence of a cell wall and uh, 
they were appearing like a uh, yellow because of the pigment which is present in them and uh, they can synthesize the that is uh, they can synthesize the uh, nitrogen they are nitrogen fixers and uh, two types of cells are there one is the heterocyst uh, in which uh, and uh, they has the enzyme that is the nitrogen reductase and the nitrogenase and uh, oxygen scavenger so uh, these are some uh, these were some of the points about the biological classification now come to the next chapter that is the plant kingdom and uh, in plant kingdom we will be discussing about the that is the algae biophyta teratophyta gymnosperm angiosperm and uh, how uh, that uh, first uh, as you know that first life was originated in the water and uh, algae algae were there uh, the classes algae are of three types three classes uh, we are studying three ca classes only that is chlorophyce uh, pheophyce and rhodophyce so in them uh, different type of chloroplast are there uh, in the mesophyll cells like in chlamydomonas one single uh, it's a algae unicelled algae green unicellular green alga and it has one cup shaped chloroplast per cell and uh, uh, many species uh, of like uh, under poly porphyra uh, laminaria sargassum porphyra and under 70 species are uh, are used as food and uh, they are chief producers and 50% uh, of the oxygen as uh, uh, CO2 is fixed by the algae and uh, then uh, in algae uh, reproduction can be of different type that is isogamous and isogamous oogamous in eudoronia uh, different uh, type uh, different uh, sizes of a different type of gamete are there in uh, uh, eulothrix uh, motile and similar type of gamete that uh, so gametes are there and in uh, spirogyra uh, they are non motile but similar uh, in spirogyra also isogamete then uh, in edogonium wait in uh, uh, eudorina and uh, and isogamous and in volvox and fucus fucus is a brown algae and volvox is a green alga in them uh, oogamous reproduction is seen and then come to the uh, chlorophyce that is the green algae they are called so because having the uh, chlorophyll a and c present in them and uh, they store food in the form of pyrenoid and uh, sometimes in the form of oil droplets Pyrenoid is the uh, starch uh, beside which protein is wrapped and uh, then uh, next we move to the that is uh, then vegetative reprodu uh, reproduction by the fragmentation asexual by the formation of different type of spores mainly zoospore and the zoosporangia and uh, sexual reproduction can be isogamous anisogamous or oogamous. Uh, example are Chlamydomonas, Volvox, Eurothrix, Spirogyra. Uh, Cara algae has a calcium cell wall of calcium carbonate and uh, monoecious. So these are some of the examples of the green algae. Now come to the brown algae, and uh, they can be from the simple uh, to the uh, filamentous form like ectocarpus, and to the most. Uh, to profusely branched uh, like kelp and it is 100 meter very greatly in shape and size and uh, they are of brown color due to they uh, chlorophyll and they have chlorophyll a d and they are uh, rich in pigment that is the fucoxanthin then uh, they uh, store food in the form of uh, uh, laminarian manitol and uh, then uh, uh, there is a cellulose and a, uh, pectin is there and there is a uh, elgin that is a hydrocolloid it is present and uh, then uh, vegetative reproduction by the fragmentation is actually by the formation of the different type of uh, spores and uh, they are uh, uh, pyriform in shape with the uh, two laterally unequal laterally attached flagella uh, are present 
then uh, sexual reproduction by the formation of gamete and uh, these are also pyriform in shape and uh, two uh, unequal laterally attached flagella is there example are uh, laminarian fucus uh, dictyota uh, sargassum fucus uh, calp so these were some of the examples of the brown algae then come to the red algae rhodophyce uh, they are rich in pigment that is the chlorophyll a d uh, brown uh, algae was rich in uh, pigment a c and uh, uh, green was a b then uh, uh, red algae found in uh, uh, also in shallow water and in deep water where very little light penetrates then uh, uh, they can they are also uh, photosynthetic and uh, now reproduction vegetative by fragmentation uh, asexual by formation of non motile spore and sexual by the formation of non motile gamete and uh, then uh, uh, next uh, that is there is post uh, complex post fertilization development is there and uh, they store food in the form of a fluoridian starch and uh, these are structure uh, these are structurally similar with the glycogen uh, and uh, then with amylopectin and uh, glycogen then uh, most are multicellular and then come to the uh, bryophytes so bryophytes were the first uh, plants who came uh, at uh, who came uh, who invaded land uh, from the water and they are also called the amphibia of the plant kingdom because uh, uh, they live on land but they are dependent on water for the fertilization purpose and they are uh, there is um, uh, there is absence of the vascular bundle in them that's why uh, they are also dependent on the water bodies and uh, the male sex organ is called the antheridium and the female is called the archegonium and uh, in archegonium there are neck cells and uh, uh, in bryophyta mix of neck cells are there and then uh, uh, it decreases uh, when we go higher and in angiosperm i think neck cells are absent then uh, in uh, angiosperm there is no archegonium there is a uh, ovary is there so next move that is uh, they have the thyroid body and uh, uh, there is no root uh, true uh, there is uh, no any structure which is true uh, root like leaf like stem like structure mm, they are having the uh, uh, there is no uh, not true root leaf and stem but uh, uh, that like structure is there and uh, there are of two types that is the liverwort and mosses mosses are more developed than liverwort and uh, they are of uh, bryophyte are of less economic importance but uh, uh, but that is uh, sargassum uh, peat moss is, is it's a uh, moss and uh, it provides a peat and uh, it's a hydrocolloid substance it used to carry the living uh, organisms or material from one place to the other because it can store water and mosses form mat on the soil so it prevents soil erosion and uh, mosses with the uh, lichens uh, become pinoid uh, uh, pioneer the rocks and uh, becomes the reason of the formation of the uh, higher climax community with the help of this uh, higher com uh, climax community is formed then the liverwort so uh, root like leaf like stem like structure is seen in them and uh, there is a uh, wait then some points about the liverwort and uh, uh, they grow on uh, moist damp places near the banks or deep in, uh, inside the wood and uh, their body is dorsi ventral uh, oppressed to the substratum closely oppressed towards the substratum and uh, leafy members have uh, leaves uh, arranged uh, spirally uh, on stem like structure and uh, uh, asexual reproduction by the fragmentation or by specialized structure that is the green multicellular uh, gemma 
and it is formed in a receptacle which is present uh, on the thallus uh, that is the gemma cup and uh, uh, these gemma cup uh, detach from the thallus and germinate to form the uh, uh, that is uh, germinate to form the new individual and during the sexual reproduction male and female sex organ form on the same or different thalli and uh, that is a sporophyte is differentiated into a uh, foot seta uh, and capsule and uh, after meiosis uh, there is formation of spore in the capsule and uh, then it is uh, these spore germinate to form the free living uh, free living gametophyte and then next move to the uh, mosses and uh, in mosses uh, there is a they are more differentiated than the uh, liverwort and uh, they in them primary prot uh, protonema stage and then secondary protonema stage is found then in mosses predominant stage is the uh, gametophyte and it has two uh, stages that is the protonema primary protonema it's a green creeping filamentous uh, branched frequently frequently filamentous uh, stage and uh, the second stage which is a uh, uh, secondary protonema develop uh, second stage which develops uh, as a secondary protonema uh, from secondary protonema as a uh, lateral bud and it has a uh, uh, root like leaf like stem like uh, uh, leafy structure is uh, are present and uh, they are attached to the substratum by the multicellular branch rhizoid and uh, uh, this stage bears the the uh, sex organs and uh, then then uh, uh, the asexual reproduction can be uh, by the fragmentation or by the uh, formation uh, budding in the secondary protonema and uh, the leafy stage has the sex organs and after fertilization zygote convert into the sporophyte and sporophyte is uh, in mosses sporophyte is more elaborate than the liverwort and uh, they have foot seta and capsule stage and uh, uh, spore formed in capsule uh, after meiosis and uh, then uh, and uh, in mosses there is elaborate mechanism of uh, spore dispersal then some of the example uh, are phenaria then sphagnum and uh, that is polytrichum and uh, then next come to the pteridophyta and uh, they are the uh, first uh, land invading plants with a vascular bundle and uh, they are grown for the in houses for ornamental purpose and uh, there are also soil bounders also and uh, uh, that is uh, they have uh, leaves teridophyte contain horsetail and fur and uh, their plant body mainly sporophyte and they have true uh, leaf stem and root and uh, they are used as soil binders also and ornamental and uh, they have a uh, sporophytic plant body and uh, having the sporangia sporophytic plant body having sporangia and they are subtended by the uh, that is uh, sporophylls Uh, they are supplanted by leaf like appendages called the sporophylls and sometimes sporophylls arranged in a, a ring like structure uh, form com compact strobili or cone in selaginella and equisetum and uh, this spore germinate to form inconspicuous small but multicellular uh, free living and uh, photosynthetic uh, gametophyte called the prothallus uh, gametophyte is called the prothallus and they require cool damp shady places uh, to grow that's why they are limited in the geographic region 
and uh, the gametophyte bear the male and female sex organ that is the antheridia and archegonia respectively and then the uh, male gamete from the antheridia uh, through water reaches into the mouth of the archegonia and uh, then there is a fertilization formation of the zygote and from zygote there is a formation of the sporophytic stage and most of them uh, in pteridophytes there is the homosporous uh, their homosporous but in some like selaginella and salvinia heterosporous condition is there like there is formation of micro and megaspore from micro there is formation of male gametophyte and from uh, mega uh, spore there is formation of a female gametophyte and uh, in these plants female gametophyte is uh, remain on the plant sporophytic for some stage uh, for some time and uh, it is considered uh, as a precursor of the seed habit and uh, it is uh, important step towards the evolution and some of the examples are the uh, Silopsida, Silotum, Lycopsida, Lycopodium and Selaginella, then Teropsida, uh, uh, Diopteris, Teris, Adiantum, then Sphenopsida, uh, Equisetum. So these were some of the points about the uh, Teridophyte then come to the Gymnosperm means naked Cedar. Cedar means there is no any uh, ovary wall to cover the seed, next cedar and, uh, and gymnosperm there is a, a penate, uh, the, uh, the leaves can be pinnately and palmately arranged in cycles, leaves uh, pinnately arranged, leaves uh, uh, remain for uh, some time, for few years and uh, their uh, leaves are uh, ad uh, adapted to high temperature uh, conditions their sunken stomata uh, needle like leaves are there and uh, in uh, pinus monoecious condition is there uh, but in cycles there is a diocese condi condition is there and in cycles there is corloid root is also found and uh, example are drink ago uh, and the uh, cycles and the pinus so uh, the gymnospores are heterospores produce two types of spore that is the microspore and megaspore microspore in the uh, microsporangia and uh, it is uh, microsporophyll related to the microsporophyte and uh, called the mic uh, having microsporangia called the microsporangiate or male strobili similarly having the uh, megasporophyll having megasporangia, uh, megasporangia uh, or the uh, megasporangiate called megasporangiate or the female uh, strobili and uh, they give rise to uh, microsporangiate or male strobili give rise to the male gamete and uh, they are very reduced and uh, there is no independent existence and there is formation of the pollen grain and they are sent to the female uh, mouth of the opening of ovule female uh, archegonia and then uh, uh, female strobili they are formed from the that uh, they, they megaspore mother cell is uh, differentiate from one of the cells of the nucleus and uh, it is uh, protected by envelopes and the compact structure called the ovule and then uh, divide meiotically to form the four megaspore one of them form the uh, female archegonia so uh, as teritophyte bryophyte uh, there is no independent existence of the gametophytic stage so these were some of the points about the plant kingdom now come to the animal kingdom now we will be discussing only some of the points uh, or some of the examples which are important so uh, uh, that is uh, in sponges uh, scypha uh, cycon scypha spongilla freshwater sponge you spongia bath sponge and uh, then come to the cylindrate and uh, or the nidaria in physalia portuguese man of war then mandrina uh, brain coral and uh, then uh, uh, gorgonia uh, that is uh, mermaids uh, 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 sea anemone and uh, sea pen uh, panatula sea pen 
mandrina, brain coral, and gorgonia. Uh, that is the uh, right. gorgonia C fan. Then uh, under Tino Fura, uh, Tino Plana, and Turo Vecchia. And then uh, under Platy Helminth, that is the Tinea tape form and uh, uh, fe uh, Fasciola liver fluke. And uh, then uh, uh, next under Escalmith, there is Ascaris roundworm. Uh, then uh, Vuchuidia Bankofry, Falaria worm. Uh, and cyclostoma uh, hookworm and uh, and uh, that is the antrobius pinworm and uh, then under annelida there is the uh, leech herodinaria and uh, earthworm uh, fretima and uh, neris having the para parapodia and then under arthropoda economically important uh, insects are apis for the honeybee then uh, lacifer lac insect and the bombex silk uh, in silk worm bombex mori then vectors are aedes uh, anopheles and culex then uh, gregarious pest is the locusta and uh, living fossil is the limulus king crab and uh, then uh, next is the uh, mollusca Arthropoda is the largest phyl animal phylum and mollusca is the second largest animal phylum and uh, under mollusca there is the phyla, uh, apple snail, aplysia, sea hail, dentalum, tusk shell uh, that is uh, then there is uh, octopus, devil fish and uh, dentalium there was the uh, lolico, squid and uh, uh, then there is a uh, Yes. Then come to the next. That is the Echinodermata. Under Echinodermata, there are uh, Asterias, starfish. Then uh, uh, Cucumeria, sea cucumber, uh, Antidone, sea lily, and uh, Echinus, sea urchin, uh, Ophiura, uh, brittle star. And then uh, Hemichordata. There is the Sacroglossus and balanoglossus and uh, then come to the uh, um, chordata and there are uh, protochordate under protochordate there are the urochordate and syphilochordate under urochordate there is the acidia salpa doriolum and under the uh, syphilochordate there is the brachiostoma uh, brachiostoma or the called the uh, amphioxus or lancelet and then come to the that is vertebrate under vertebrate uh, the two divisions are there that is the agnatha and granthostome under uh, agnatha there is one class cyclostome and example under cyclostome are uh, mixin hagfish petromyzone uh, lamprey then uh, under uh, division uh, granthostome there are two super class that is the tetrapoda and uh, pieces uh, then under uh, pieces there are uh, two classes under superclass pieces there is two classes that is the uh, chondrichthys and ostrichthys the uh, examples of the chondrichthys are uh, trigone stingray uh, torpedo electric organ has electric or organ pistris uh, sawfish and uh, uh, carcharodon scoliodon that is the shark, Carcharodon, great white shark. So these were some of the examples. Then next come to the uh, next class uh, under uh, superclass species is the uh, Ostichthys. Uh, that is uh, uh, under Ostichthys there uh, there is a point like uh, example. Uh, marine is a uh, uh, sea horse and uh, it's called hippo campus then uh, tiro uh, that is tiro phylum uh, flying fish and uh, then uh, freshwater fishes are like uh, uh, clarius uh, it's called mangur then uh, rohu uh, katla labio is rohu uh, katla is katla and then aquarium fishes are beta fighting fish and uh, tiro phylum angel fish that is a uh, way.
and uh, it was exo cheetahs flying fish was exo cheetahs and uh, then next come to the super class that is tetrapoda under tetrapoda first class is the amphibia it has four classes so first is the amphibia and under amphibia there is the uh, buffo toad salamander salamander ichthyes uh, ichthyophis uh, that is the limbless amphibia and uh, then next move to the reptile and under reptile there is the uh, chilon uh, turtle testudo uh, tortoise and uh, Uh, there are uh, bangras, uh, naja is cobra, bangras, vipera. Uh, I think vipera is uh, bangras is great, vipera is vipera, and uh, other are like uh, hemidactylus, wall dacta, uh, wall uh, lizard, and uh, Uh, calotes garden lizard and uh, chameleon tree lizard um so crocodile crocodiles crocodile and uh, so these were some of the examples under the reptile and then after reptile come to the third class that is the avis under avis there is the colombo pigeon uh, uh, sturdio ostrich uh, cetacula parrot then uh, Aptinodictis, that is the penguin, and uh, corvos, crow. So, um, these were some of the examples under the class uh, avis. Then come to the uh, last class, that is the uh, mammalia. Under mammalia, there is uh, balamptera, blue whale, uh, dolphinus, uh, dolphin. Then uh, ex, uh, tiropus. Flying fox and uh, me, uh, macropus kangaroo and uh, ornithorhynchus platypus uh, duck billed platypus and uh, they are the uh, platypus are oviparous because uh, in mammal there are two that is the uh, pro uh eutherian and metatherian are there so they are the i think metatherian where eutherian and then uh dog cat uh human tiger lion panther elephant horse camel so uh, these were some of the examples under the mammalia so this was uh, it was all about the first unit now come to the second unit uh, that is the about morphology and this we will we will be studying now let's uh, first uh, start with the uh, is a uh, zygomorphic so zygom of uh, example of zygomorphic pair is p bean gulmohar cassia and of uh, uh, actinomorphic flower there is a uh, china rose and uh, um, wait then some of the points of morphology of flowering plants so now example of uh, zygomorphic flower that is the pea bean cassia gulmohar example of actinomorphic that is the chili datura and uh, uh, mustard then uh, actinom uh, a symmetric that is the kenna and uh, perigynous ovary is the plum peach rose uh, superior ovary example uh, b m c brinjal mustard and china rose and inferior ovary is seen in the uh, that is c g l uh, cucumber gava and a ray c g r ray floret of sunflower then uh, estivation it is the arrangement of uh, uh, sepal uh, or petal with respect to the other member of the same world in bud condition so axillary estivation p b imbricate uh, cassia gulmohar twister in a uh, uh, cotton lady's finger china rose and uh, then uh, twister in uh, that is in i think it is in callotropis volvet volvet is in calla tropis twisted is in cotton uh, lady's finger and china rose and after uh, this come to the that is uh, api uh, petalous condition is seen in brinjal api phyllous condition seen in lily and uh, uh, 
monotelfus condition china rose ditelfus condition is in p and uh, uh, polydelfus condition citrus stamen of variable length is in salvinia mustard and uh, after come to the that is uh, apocarpus condition in lotus rose syncarpus condition in mustard tomato and uh, placentation it is the arrangement of ovule uh, in placenta uh, uh, on placenta so that is a basal placentation marigold sunflower and uh, free central chi uh, rg moon and uh, it is uh, dianthus and primrose uh, it is a free central uh, dianthus and primrose then parietal is in uh, mustard and rg moon and uh, one more is uh, in uh, that is marginal it is in p so these were some of the uh, examples now that is uh, modifications of leaves in uh, tendril is in the uh, that is in pea and in spine in cactus and uh, in pitcher plant the pitcher is a modification of leaf and uh, then uh, there is phyllotaxy it is the arrangement of leaves on stem is called the phyllotaxy so next uh, uh, come to the that is the uh, in alstonia there is a word phyllotaxy in uh, uh, opposite phyllotaxy is seen in the uh, gava uh, sunflower uh, wait opposite uh, phyllotaxy is seen in the calotropis and gava and uh, uh, alternate uh, that is the alternative is seen in the uh, china rose mustard and uh, sunflower then uh, pinnate condition is seen in the neem and uh, palmate is in cotton and uh, palmately compound leaf and uh, then modification of the stem so stem is modified to store uh, food in the zamikand uh, potato then uh, uh, colocasia rhizome so these were uh, these were some of the example and uh, uh, it is modified in uh, uh, tendril. Axillary bud is modified in tendril in the uh, gold like cucumber, watermelon, and uh, pumpkin, and in grapevine. Then uh, in thorn, uh, in bougainvillea, and citrus. Then uh, and spine uh, condition is seen in the, I think, uh, uh, cactus. Uh, then uh, next uh, after thorn there is uh, like uh, and uh, 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 stem becomes flat in uh, opuntia and uh, in and uh, it becomes uh, uh, cylindrical in the euphorbia and uh, uh, it's called the phyloclade and phyllode condition in australian acacia leaves shed off uh, that is uh, for of small duration and uh, petiole uh, perform the function of petiole modified into leaf and uh, perform the function of photosynthesis so uh, some of the conditions like in root there is the uh, Prop, uh, prop root, still root, then in uh, rhizof rhizophora, there is a uh, nematophores are there, and uh, then uh, so come to the that is the floral formula and floral diagram. So we are given with the three families that is the uh, Fabaceae, Solanaceae, and Liliaceae. So Fabaceae family uh, that is uh, overall if we want to uh, recall the uh, recall this family, so we have to recall this whole diagram. It should be uh, in front of our uh, uh, in our brain so that so uh, if you can remember then there is a uh, five uh, petal are there five sepal five petal condition and uh, then didelphus condition is there nine plus one nine are fused then one and uh, uh, there is a single ovule then in Fabaceae five sepals fused uh, fi uh, there is vexillary um, estivation and uh, there is didelphus condition 9 plus 1 and uh, 9 are uh, fused then uh, there is a unilocular ovary and uh, 
so examples under the fbc is um, uh, gram arhar so moong so but soya bean uh, from soya bean we get uh, oil groundnut seeds and uh, in fodder there is sesvania and sun hemp then uh, lupin sweet pea ornamental mulaithi and medicine uh, so these were examples and uh, uh, legume is the fruit and non endospermic seed uh, are there and now come to the next that is the solanaceae family and in this there is five sepal fused and uh, there is uh, uh, there is epi petalous condition is seen five petal fused and uh, uh, there is five stamen are there uh, fused with the petal and uh, bilocular ovary laterally ob uh, obli obligately placed and the fruit is called the berry capsule and uh, uh, endospermic seed are there and uh, example under this is the that is uh, potato brinjal uh, tomato under this family and uh, the name of the tomato is lycopersicum esculatum and uh, then uh, after there is a uh, uh, in fumigate fumigatory tobacco and uh, uh, petunia in uh, petunia is the flower and uh, then there is uh, ashwagandha uh, here it is ashwagandha belladonna and spice chili and uh, then uh, next come to the uh, that is the lily family and here is the uh, 3 plus 3 uh, here epiphyllous condition is seen uh, seen uh, but if not there is uh, stamens are not fused to each other epiphyllous condition 3 plus 3 and uh, then there is a, a tri carpellary condition is seen and the fruit is capsule rarely berry and uh, example under this is the uh, mainly ornamental so there is a, i think uh, so uh, colchicum autumn nail aloe vera and uh, that is vegetable in a vegetable ashwagandha and tulip gloriosa uh, tu uh, tulip and gloriosa so uh, these were some of the examples and uh, one is the brassicaceae family that is uh, uh, four sepal uh 2 plus 2 fused and then four petal uh they are not fused then uh, there is wait uh 2 plus 4 uh, uh stamen and they are not fused and uh, there is by uh, carpellary condition is same uh, seen so uh, wait uh so coconut and uh, mango fruit are called droop and uh, they are differentiated into the pericarp and the uh, endocarp and if uh, that is uh, fleshy then there is pericarp is differentiated into the outer epicarp and the mesocarp then the endocarp in uh, mango there it is there is clear differentiation thin epicarp and then uh, that is a uh, uh, mesocarp and then uh, there is endocarp and uh, in uh, coconut the mesocarp is uh, fibrous and uh, they are developed from the uh, superior ovary i think monocotyledon superior ovary is there not not monocotyledon and then uh, in seed there is a uh, ovule develop into seed and uh, the integuments uh, develop into the that is uh, seed coat testa and tegment and there is a hilum region from uh, and above there is a micropyle region is also there so and uh, about the structure of seed coat of the monocot and there is a aluron uh, aluron layer then there is a scutellum and uh, in dicot seed there is a axis and uh, uh, cotyledon are there and uh, 
plumule reticle are there from from plumule shoot arise and from uh, reticle root arises and then come to the next chapter chapter that is the anatomy of the flowering plants and uh, in this we will be discussing only the few of the topics uh, uh, which we need that is it includes the uh, that is uh, tissue permanent tissue uh, complex tissue in permanent tissue there is a uh, scler parenchyma colenchyma sclerenchyma and uh, then after that there is a uh, complex tissue that is the phloem and xylem and phloem uh, column that is parenchyma it's a uh, ground tissue uh, isodiametric wall is there it can be oval round polygonal spherical elongated in shape and uh, cellulosic cell wall and uh, can be uh, closely packed or with little intercellular spaces can be there and uh, uh, they perform the function of uh, uh, photosynthesis secretion and storage then next come to the colon chyma and uh, the colon chyma at the provide mechanical tissue leaving uh, colon chyma as leaving mechanical tissue and uh, without intercellular spaces and there are uh, deposition at the corners due to the deposition of uh, cellulose pectin uh, cellulose hemicellulose pectin uh, call it, uh, pectin and uh, uh, without spaces and they can also be oval uh, round spherical uh, polygonal so these are the shapes and they provide uh, that is mechanical strength strength to the young part that is the petiole of the leaf and then next come to the uh, sclerin chyma they are the dead tissue and uh, uh, pits are there few or numerous pits can be there on the basis of uh, form structure development origin they are uh, divided into the two types that is the fibers and scleroid fiber are elongated tapering ends and uh, with a uh, that is a cavity uh, is present in them and they are uh, parallel to each present and group parallel to each other then next scleroid they are the round cylindrical structures with a very thick cell wall uh, sclerenchymatous uh, dead and with a very narrow lumen or cavity at their, they are present in the like uh, seeds of uh, uh, legume then uh, in seed coat of groundnut and uh, in like pulp of kava and uh, tea leaves so these were they were some of the examples and then the xylem uh, phloem and xylem fiber uh, xylem uh, and phloem so in under xylem there is a xylem uh, parenchyma xylem phloem uh, first xylem phloem parenchyma and xylem fiber and xylem tracheid xylem tracheid xylem vessel so uh, xylem vessel are absent in the gymnos uh, gymnosperm uh, but in angiosperm xylem uh, tracheid and vessel are the uh, main water transporter uh, transporter uh, water and mineral transporter and uh, so vessel is the characteristic of angiosperm and uh, uh, likewise uh, uh, fiber are of two types that is the protoxylem and metaxylem which are formed early called the protoxylem and formed later called the metaxylem in stem there is a endarch arrangement and in uh, root there is a exact uh, protoxylem is there and uh, they provide the fibers provide the strength in xylem only parenchyma xylem parenchyma is living all other are dead and then next come through the phloem uh, similarly in the phloem there is a phloem uh, parenchyma phloem tube uh, element then a companion cell and uh, Flowing fiber, flowing parenchyma, and uh, flowing uh, uh, in gymnosperm. Instead of flowing tube cell, there are flowing, uh, flowing. Instead of flowing tube element, there are flowing cell, and instead of companion cell, there are arguminous cells are present in gymnosperm. And then the function of parenchyma that is secretion storage, and uh, of fiber provides the strength, and uh, uh, similarly as of xylem phloem is also like a, a proto phloem and meta phloem and then next come to the that is the um, the uh, system 
three uh, system are there that is the fundamental or ground tissue system then the vascular or conducting uh, system and uh, then there is the epidermal system so uh, under epidermal system that uh, it is covered by the cuticle and uh, uh, two surfaces are there if we were uh, uh, and uh, there are stomata is present and uh, uh, now what let's see what comes under the stomata that uh, what forms a stomatal operators and uh, it is formed by the like uh, stomatal aperture then guard cells in di uh, dicotyledon the guard cells are the dumbbell shape uh, bean shaped and in monocot it is dumbbell shape and uh, then there is a subsidiary cell which is modified uh, mesophyll cells uh, these form the uh, operators and the inner uh, wall of guard cell is thick and outer wall is thin then uh, next so uh, next is the ground tissue system and uh, in ground uh, or the fundamental tissue system and this is the vascular cambium or core cambium is formed uh, vascular cambium when there is a growth uh, during the growth like uh, the cells uh, which are present or uh, between the xylem and phloem called the uh, conjunctive tissue and uh, that uh, intra fascicular cambium and the uh, cells uh, near to them or parallel to them that is the medullary rays uh, they uh, later become uh, de-differentiate and form uh, re-differentiate and uh, form the that is uh, inter fascicular cambium and uh, later they form the inter uh, that is the vascular cambium joint to, joint to form and it does activity in the both direction that is the, in the inside outside also inside it, it form the secondary xylem and outside secondary phloem inside it is more active than outside uh, and that's why it result in the uh, that is uh, uh, damage of uh, primary phloem as well as of secondary phloem but uh, primary xylem uh, less or more remains intact towards the center or uh, in the center or towards the center so after uh, due to the pressure there is a breakdown of the uh, outer epidermal layers also so later it is uh, need to be a uh, formation of uh, the outer layer to uh, so that we can form the uh, to provide the uh, strength to the plant that is uh, uh, cork cambium so the a couple of layer thick that uh, there is a cork cambium uh, there is formation of cork cambium called the fellow uh, fellow gen inside it uh, form the fellow derm or the secondary cortex and outside it form the uh, phallum or the uh, cork cork cells and uh, after some time instead of forming the cork cells it forms uh, closely arranged the parenchyma cells and uh, it some after some time due to uh, uh, pressure pressure built and it burst out and form lens shape opening called the lenticels and it is responsible for the respiration and uh, stems and now come to the what is sap foot what is uh, uh, hardwood and sap wood and woody trees the uh, peripheral part of the secondary xylem um, becomes uh, dead and uh, due to deposition of the resin tannin gum oil essential oils uh, and uh, a highly sclerified wall uh, there is deposition of these substances and uh, they are sundered by the sclerified wall uh, so uh, it becomes unavailable for the uh, transport of water and mineral and that's why it become dark in color due to deposition of secondary metabolite and they are called the uh, hard wood but the central part uh, remain uh, is uh, is there for the conduction of water and mineral and they are called the uh, that is uh, uh, sap wood and uh, now spring wood and the early wood 
and the uh, spring wood autumn wood or the early or late wood and temperate region uh, the uh, weather is uh, not uh, remains uh, uniform uh, throughout the year so that's why uh, cambium uh, there is a difference in the activity of the cambium and uh, it result in the formation of the two types of ring uh, in a year that is the spring and autumn uh, spring ring or the spring wood and autumn wood and uh, by counting the uh, this we can calculate the age of any woody tree so the cambium uh, in the spring uh, the cambium uh, form uh, the vessel with uh, more cavity and they are less dense and light in color and they are called the uh, early wood or the spring wood and uh, which are formed late in year that in autumn uh, with uh, narrow cavity uh, dense dark in color they are called the uh, autumn or late wood so now some of the points about the anatomy of the uh, stem and stem root and of leaf so come to the that is the stem uh, anatomy of the uh, first let's see the anatomy of the uh, dicot root so there is a epiblema and uh, uh, numerous projection uh, come from the uh, cell wall uh, that is cell membrane called the uh, cellular projections are called root hair and the root hair are always unicellular and there is a multi-layer cortex of uh, parenchyma and uh, then the uh, innermost uh, layer of the cortex is called the endodermis and endodermis is consists of the barrel shaped uh, closely uh, arranged cells with without any intracellular space and the endodermis that is uh, tangentially and radially uh, they are in the uh, there is deposition of the uh, vexy material uh, which is impermeable in the form of the caspian strip and uh, then after there is the uh, peri pericycle and uh, pericycle is of the uh, parenchyma cells few layer uh, thick of thick uh, parenchyma cells and after this there, uh, there is a uh, vascular bundle that is uh, flowing and then uh, xylem and there is pith uh, pith in dicot root is less developed or inconspicuous and uh, the tissue which is present or the cell which is present between xylem and phloem it is called the conjunctive tissue then c steel is the centric uh, central cylindrical part and uh, it include the and in bark all the tissues which are present uh, outside the uh, vascular cambium are included in the bark and bark it's a non technical uh, term and uh, in steel all the I think all the tissues which are present inside the hmm, endodermis wait yeah steel is uh, uh, all the parts which are present inside endodermis called the steel and then about the uh, anatomy of the monocot root it is just similar of uh, dicot root just that uh, there is the epidermis then cortex region and endodermis and uh, but the pith of uh, monocot root is well developed than the uh, dicot root and uh, in dicot uh, in monocot uh, there is uh, never there is no chance of secondary growth and in uh, in leaves there is never secondary growth is there so next come to the that is uh, after the now come to the anatomy of uh, the uh, dicot stem so there is a uh, epidermis and uh, from where uh, trichomes are uh, arise trichomes are unicellular uh, they can be unicellular multicellular branched or unbranched uh, and uh, sometimes help in the uh, uh, water uh, reserve water uh, because stops transpiration so next uh, there is a uh, cortex and it is divided into the three subzones that is the uh, hypodermis uh, and hypodermis is of the uh, 
colon chyma and then there is the uh, inner cortex cortical region and uh, after that the inner cortex and the endodermis and uh, inner cortex is of oval uh, parent chymatous cells oval and with spaces are there and then the endodermis and uh, uh, these are also called the starch sheath because uh, it is uh, it stores the starch grain that's why this endodermis layer is also called the starch sheath and uh, uh, inside there is a pericycle and the pericycle is of the scleral chyma cells so Uh, so there in stem the vascular cambium is uh, truly newly formed and uh, pericycle is present in the form of semilunar patches and the vascular uh, bundles are there and uh, they are arranged in ring and uh, the arrangement of vascular bundle in ring is the characteristic of dicot stem so after there is a pith the pith of the dicot stem is well developed and the pith of the monocot stem is uh, very inconspicuous and uh, then now come to the anatomy of the uh, leaf that is dorsiventral and the isobilateral that is uh, at axial surface are there and then the abaxial and there is a and mesophyll cells are there and uh, in dicot there is a mesophyll cells are divided into the two types that is the palisade parenchyma and spongy parenchyma palisade parenchyma are cylindrical uh, longitudinal elongated cells uh, towards the adaxial surface but uh, parallel to uh, itself and uh, uh, there is spongy parenchyma uh, which uh, goes towards the uh, apexial surface and they are round oval and uh, many air cavities are present between them and uh, then next is the that is uh, Uh, yes, after and uh, in them, they and that is a uh, uh, vascular bundle can be of uh, different sizes because in them can be the reticulate ven uh, reticulate venation is very common. And then, isobilateral, it is uh, the anatomy of isobilateral leaf is also seen. And uh, in dicot, there is a uh, vascular bundle are uh, in the uh, bundle sheath and. Uh, it is called the cranes anatomy and it is a characteristic of dicot uh, leaf then monocot leaf or isobilateral just same but there is no difference between the uh, spoon, um, difference in any uh, separation of the mesochyma cells like parent palisade or parent spongy parenchyma so all are similar and uh, the uh, vascular bundle which are present towards the center they are larger than uh, the vascular bundle which are present uh, towards the periphery and uh, all the vascular bundles are surrounded by the scleral chymatous cells so and uh, that point was that uh, central vascular bundle are large, larger than the peripheral and surrounded by the scleral chymatous sheath and this point it was of uh, monocot stem now one more point that is the epidermal cells of monocot or sometimes become large uh, colorless and uh, uh, swollen and uh, called the bully form cells and uh, uh, when they absorb water uh, become turgid and the uh, leaf surface exposed and uh, when there is a deficiency of water and then they become flaccid and uh, hide the uh, surface uh, which prevent the uh, transpiration then let's come to the structural organization in animals so four types of tissue are there that is the epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and the neural tissue and after we will be discussing about the, some of the organism like earthworm and uh, cockroach and uh, only few points about the uh, uh, frog so epithelial uh, whose one surface is exposed is called the epithelial tissue and uh, then it can it is divided into the two types that is the squamous uh, that is the simple epithelial tissue and the compound epithelial tissue and simple epithelial tissue is further uh, divided into the 
दैट इज स्क्वीमस एपिथेल टिश्यू एंड दैट इज स्क्वीमस एंड स्क्वीमस एपिथेल टिश्यू स्क्यूबोइडल एंड देन द कॉलिमनार स्क्वीमस एपिथेल टिश्यू इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म द डिफ्यूजन बाउंड्री इन द एलवेलावी एंड ब्लड वेसल्स देन क्यूबोइडल इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द ट्यूबलेट पार्ट्स एंड मेनली फंक्शन इज द ऑफ द नेफ्रोन एंड इट इज सिलेटेड इन नेफ्रोन एंड मेनली फंक्शन इज द ऑब्जॉर्बशन एंड सिक्रेशन इन इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द डक्ट ऑफ क्लैंड ऑल्सो देन कॉलमनार इट इज इट फॉर्म द लाइनिंग ऑफ द स्टमक एंड एंटस्टाइन एंड इफ देर दे आर लॉन्ग कॉलिमनार सेल्स हैविंग न्यूक्लियस एट द बेस एंड इफ देर सर्फिस इज एक्सपोज सो एक्सपोज सर्फिस हैविंग सीलियर दे आर कॉल्ड द सिलेटेड एपिथीलियम सम ऑफ द सेल्स ऑफ द क्यूबोडल और कॉलिमनार एपिथीलियम गेट मॉडिफाइड इट टू द ग्लैंडुलर सेल्स दे आर कॉल्ड द ग्लैंडुलर एपिथीलियम एंड इट इज ऑल्सो ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज द यूनिसेलर एंड द मल्टी सेलुलर यूनिसेलर इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ द एंड दैट इज आइसोलेटेड सेल्स लाइक एग्जाम्पल इज कॉपलेट सेल्स देन मल्टी सेलुलर Uh, like of uh, salivary gland and uh, on the basis of pouring of secretion there are also of two types that is the exocrine and endocrine and uh, then the uh, junction junctions every type of tissue having junctions in them like a uh, uh, tight junction othering junction gap junction tight junction uh, to keep the cells uh, attached to each other to form the tissue then othering junction uh, to uh, tight junction for uh, stop leakage or check the leakage then gap junctions for communication or uh, for the transport of small ions sometimes of large ion, large molecules also uh, then uh, atheric junction keep the cells together and then come to the next that is the muscle tissue and this the parallel bundles are present and actin and myosin fibers are present and due to the parallel arrangement of actin and myosin uh, they are uh, the muscle all stated in appearance and uh, uh, any type of muscle are there whether it is cardiac is uh, voluntary involuntary uh, they have a, a parallel arrangement of the muscle fibers actin uh, and myosin and then next move to the, that is uh, it can also be uh, of uh, two types that is the dense uh, wait uh, that is stated muscles there are uh, voluntary muscles and uh, voluntary means we can move these muscles uh, by thinking or by our action smooth muscles we can't move this just by thinking and uh, cardiac muscles these are stated in appearance but uh, uh, in function they are involuntary and having the intercalated disc for the uh, letters of connective tissue and then move move to the uh, connective tissue that is all the uh, connective tissue except the blood secrete the fibers of uh, ground elastin or collagen uh, fi- having the fibroblast cells which secrete and form the ground substance and some also se- uh, secrete the modified polysaccharide also which form a uh, ground substance and uh, it is divided into the three types that is the loose connective tissue dense connective tissue and the uh, fibrous uh, wait and specialized connective tissue loose connect under loose uh, they are arranged fibers and fibroblast are arranged uh, loosely in them and uh, areolar they are uh, present beneath the skin and provide uh, that is for uh, cast the uh, basement substance for the epithelium and uh, then next that is the areolar there also a uh, loose connective tissue and they store fat and the min- uh, store fat uh, the nutrition which uh, is not utilized immediately is stored in the uh, areolar adipose uh, cells and uh, then next uh, that is the dense connective tissue it is uh, divided into the two types it is the dense connective and 
डेंस रेगुलर एंड डेंस इेगुलर इन डेंस रेगुलर कॉलेजन फाइबर इज इन पैरल अरेंजमेंट विद द मैनी फाइबर्स एंड इन डेंस एंड एग्जाम्पल इज लाइक टेंडोन लिगामेंट टेंडोन विच अटैच द बोन टू मसल लिगामेंट विच अटैच बोन टू बोन सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स अंडर द डेंस रेगुलर दैन अंडर डेंस इेगुलर दिस इज प्रजेंट इन द स्किन एंड इन दिस देर इज सम इेगुलर अरेजमेंट इज देर देन कार्टिलेज स्पेशलाइज कनेक्टेड टिश्यू दैट इज द कार्टिलेज एंड बोन एंड ब्लड सो कार्टिलेज हैज इज रिस्ड कॉम्प्रेशन प्लाइबल सॉलिड ग्राउंड सब्सटांस एंड द सेल्स ऑफ कार्टिलेज वॉल द कॉन्ड्रो साइड सेल्स एंड मेनी कॉन्ड्रो कार्टिलेज इन अडल्ट कन्वर्ट इन टू द बोन बाय द प्रोसेस फॉर द ऑसिफिकेशन एंड देन बोन्स कम टू द बोन्स दैट इज द सेल्स ऑफ द बोन कॉल द ऑस्टियोसाइट एंड हैविंग देयर लिविंग सेल्स एंड हैवर्शन कैनाल इज देयर विच सप्लाई ब्लड एंड दे सॉलिड नॉन प्लाइबल बट कार्टिलेज दैट इज प्लाइबल एंड देन मूव टू द कॉलेज एंड इन बोन देर इज अ लॉन्ग बोन दैट इज द बोन बोन मैरो देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑल टाइप ऑफ ब्लड सेल्स देन नेक्स्ट देर इज अ ब्लड एंड इन ब्लड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेल्स आर देर आर बी सी डब्ल्यू बी सी लिम्फोसाइट बी लिम्फोसाइट टी लिम्फोसाइट प्लेटलेट्स और थोड़ा थ्रोम्बोसाइट सो दीज आर देर देन कम टू द नर्वस टिश्यू एंड देर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द पॉइंट टू पॉइंट कॉर्डिनेशन बट या वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट हारमोन्स आर ऑल्सो नीडेड बिकॉज दे कैन दे कॉन्ट प्रोवाइड पॉइंट टू पॉइंट कॉर्डिनेशन टू द ऑल द सेल्स सो द न्यूरोक्लिया सेल्स विच आर सपोर्टिंग नॉन एक्साइटेबल सेल्स फॉर्म हाफ ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द न्यूरोन्स द न्यूरोन हैज द थ्री पार्ट दैट इज द डेंड्राइट फ्रॉम विच इट रिसीव द इन्फॉर्मेशन साइटोन बॉडी प्रोसेसिंग इज देर एंड द एक्सोन फ्रॉम विच एक्सोन टर्मिनल फ्रॉम विच इट ट्रांसमिट द सिग्नल टू द और इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द अदर न्यूरोन then come to the earthworm that is the lumbricus and frettium are the common earthworm brown in color and they can be recognized on the basis of their on the their dorsal wall there is a uh, met uh, there is a uh, vessel from which they can be recognized that uh, is it ventral or dorsal side and uh, then the first body segment is called the uh, peristomium and a lobe is originated from them that is called the uh, prostomium and uh, it helps to open the crack and sensory in function and their food is the dead decaying matter uh, and soil soil which is rich in the organic material uh, so from their body from 14 to 16 segment called the clitellar region covered with a uh, dark glandular gland and uh, so does uh, their body external can be divided into the three uh, segments that is the uh, pre clitellar region clitellar region and post clitellar region and uh, then uh, four pair of uh, spermatical aperture are present which uh, open in the uh, intersegmental groove from fifth to the uh, ninth that is the 5 6 6 7 7 8 8 and uh, then uh, in 18th mid uh, in lateral ventral side in 18th segment uh, main genital pore opens and in mid ventral side uh, for in 14th segment female uh, genital pore opens and their body has a ct s shape s shaped uh, ct which can be retracted and can be extended and they uh, they are imparted in the epidermis and they move with the help of the ct and there is a non cellular layer over their epidermis then uh, uh, muscles are there that is the longitudinal and uh, circular muscles are there and after that uh, come to the their uh, that is from 1 to 3 there is a buccal cavity then from 5 to 7 um, after buccal cavity there is a pharynx uh then 
uh, five to seven esophagus and uh, then from uh, that is then from eight to nine there is a muscular pharynx and nine to fourteen stomach and uh, uh, yes nine to fourteen there is a stomach and after fifteen there is a uh, elementary canal and uh, uh, from twenty sixth segment a pair of uh, intestinal CK uh, rise and uh, then the characteristic of intestine after 26th segment uh, except 20 uh, last 23rd to 25th that is the uh, typhlosol and it is the fold of uh, internal median dorsal wall to increase the surface area for the absorption and uh, the stomach has the uh, that is so, uh, calciferous gland to uh, neutralize the humic acid uh, with which will be present in the uh, food then uh, absorption of food is there then come to the gland that is the uh, in earthworm they are annulated so there is a closed circulatory system due to this the blood uh, circulate between the heart capillaries and vessel and uh, in fourth fifth and sixth segment there is a blood um, blood gland is there and the hemocytes that is the uh, hemocyte is there and uh, plasma which is dissolved in plasma and uh, color is blood is there then after come to the excretory system and uh, there is a nephridia and in also uh, in fourth fifth and sixth segment there is the uh, forest of pharyngeal nephridia is found and nephridia nephridia is of three types that is the intersegmental nephridia integumentary and uh, then the pharyngeal nephridia that is a uh, Uh, interceptal which are present uh, uh, beside the septum called the interceptum and they from uh, they like from the wait from fifth uh, from 15th segment uh, it opens into the elementary canal then integumentary it is towards the dorsal wall of the uh, body and from third uh, segment of uh, third segment uh, it is present and uh, opens in the dorsal to the elementary canal then uh, uh, pharyngeal nephridia that is in fourth fifth and sixth segment there is the forest of pharyngeal nephridia and then come to the there is a nervous system so in this uh, ventral uh, do, uh, solid uh, double nerve cord are present and bifur uh, bifurcate from the third and fifth segment and uh, then uh, come to the there is some of the sexual reproduction points that is uh, a male accessory gland uh, is present in 10th and 11th segment and uh, 10th and 11th and uh, the opening of male genital pore is in the 18th segment then female uh, gland is present in the uh, 12th and 13th open in the 14th segment then uh, that is In 10th and 11th segment, there was a, a pair of testes, I think. Two pair of testes and the first difference run till 18th segment and there is excessive tongue uh, in uh, 17th and 19th segment open in the 18th segment. And in female, there is a spermatheca from 6th to 9th segment and uh, a pair of ovary which is uh, in 12th and 13th segment and then uh, there is a juxta uh, copulation in the juxta posing position and uh, they uh, deposit their uh, cocoon in the soil and after three weeks uh, small uh, earthworm little earthworm uh, grow and uh, there is uh, they can be, they can be 2 to 20 with average of 4 so now come to the cockroach that is the common cockroach that is the uh, we are studying going to study about the peri planeta americana and cockroaches are brown uh, reddish brown color but they can also be uh, red yellow green blue uh, in the tropical region and 34 mm 
but about a 53 mm long uh, about the uh, american cockroach and uh, their head is perpendicular to the longitudinal body axis and head uh, has consist of three uh, six segment that is the labrum labium and uh, uh, maxilla mandible and uh, hypopharynx it's a tongue and uh, so these were the segments and uh, there is a eye up here a small uh, eye called the omitidia compound eye is there and the unit is omitidia and has 2000 hexa, uh, hexagonal units uh, and uh, then a pair uh, in front of eyes there is a pair of antennae thread like antennae arise which is sensory in function and then a head is attached to the thorax with the help of small uh, uh, neck and then uh, thorax divided into the three parts that is the prothorax mesothorax and metathorax from each pair of thorax one pair of leg arises that is the one from the prothorax one from meso and one from the metathorax and uh, uh, two pair of wings also arises one from the meso and one from the metathorax from meso there is a tegmina and it is opaque dark it doesn't help in the uh, uh, flying it uh, helps in it prevent or uh, saves the protect the uh, that is the wing which is uh, arise from the mesothorax and that is the transparent and helps in the flying for flight then uh, both male and female cockroaches divide uh, segments it divide into the ten, 10 segment and uh, uh, the body of cockroach is covered by the that is chitin uh, called as clearite uh, dorsally by the uh, sterna tergite and ventrally by the sterna so com uh, like in female seventh sterna is boat shaped with the eight eighth and ninth sterma and uh, with the, the i think tenth uh, turka uh, they form the uh, brood or genital pouch and uh, uh, anterior uh, the having the anterior portion of which having the like uh, uh, collateral gland uh, spermatical pore and the uh, female uh, wait. Uh, and uh, female uh, gono pore and in female uh, genital pore or brood pouch is not covered by uh, turka and then come to the in male the with ninth and tenth turka and with ninth sterna they form the male genital pore and dorsally there is anus and ventrally there is a male genital pore male gonapophysis and genital pore and gonapophysis then in male and female uh, both has uh, inner cerci from from the 10th segment and male has uh, inner style from the 9th segment and uh, thus there is sexual dimorphism is there and uh, there is 6 to 8 blind tubules called the hepa uh, hepatic or gastric CK, CK at the junction of foregut and midgut and at the junction of midgut and hindgut there is 100 to 150 uh, that is uh, a malpigian tubule is present and uh, hind gut is broader than the uh, mid gut and uh, having the ileum colon and rectum then hemocytes which are soluble uh, and uh, colorless then uh, a pair of uh, testes is present from four to sixth segment each pair laterally is present and uh, uh, there is uh, from uh, test is there is originate was difference and then uh, opens into the ejaculatory tract through the seminal vesicle and there is a characteristic mushroom shaped gland from the sixth to uh, i think ninth segment yeah sixth to seventh segment and uh, it helps in the glue uh, to glue the uh, sperm and then uh, in female uh, there is a a pair of two large ovaries from laterally a uh, second to sixth segment abdominal segment and uh, a pair of uh, spermatheca gland that is in the sixth segment is there and then the that is called the utheca uh, in which uh, and it's a purse like structure uh, three by eight uh, it is uh, 
आई थिंक थ्री बाई एट इंच और एट एम एम लॉन्ग एंड वंस एट अ टाइम फीमेल कॉकरोच गिव्स लेट इज नाइन टू टेन ऊ थीका एंड ईच कंटेन फोर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन एग्स सो दीज वर सम पॉइंट्स अबाउट द कॉकरेज एंड अबाउट फ्रॉग लाइक दे हैव कॉपलेटरी पैड एंड देन फोर फोर लिम्स कंटेन ओनली फोर डिजिट्स एंड हिंड लिम कंटेन फाइव डिजिट एंड फोर लिम आर देर फोर लिम आर फेब्ड Uh, for the swimming also so now come to the that is the uh, cell chapter cell that is uh, uh, in 1838 uh, shielder a uh, german botanist studied the cell and said about the tissue and then in 1839 at the same time a uh, british zoologist studied about the animal cell and uh, told about the plasma membrane about the like uh, cell wall is the characteristic of plant cell and uh, uh, said that that uh, all organism com- composed of cell and compound of cell and uh, both together formulated the cell theory and uh, rudolf wilco in 1855 has given the final shape to the cell theory by giving the statement that is omni cellular e celluli and uh, after some of the that is 18 and uh, 1955 i think george palade has uh, given uh, discovery about the ribosome in 1898 uh, golgi apparatus uh, 1831 it was about the nuclear nucleus uh, robert brown has discovered so just wait in 1953 uh, george palade has discovered the ribosome and uh, uh, mycoplasma uh, in theoretical it is given 0.3 micrometer but in diagram it was shown point uh, that is point 1 micrometer and uh, size of virus range between the 0.02 to 0.2 micrometer and typical bacteria 1 to 2 micrometer or 3 to 5 micrometer and eukaryotic cell typical 10 to 20 micrometer and largest cell of uh, egg of ostrich and uh, the diameter of the uh, rbc 7 micrometer then uh, length of micro uh, mitochondria 1 to 4.1 micrometer and the diameter is 0.2 to 1 micrometer with average of 0.5 micrometer and uh, uh, in uh, uh, chloroplast that uh, then about the chloroplast uh, that is uh, 5 to 10 micrometer in uh, length it's variable and uh, i think 3 to 5 in uh, 2 to 4 micrometer in diameter and sometimes uh, chlamydomonas has single one chloroplast cup shaped chloroplast uh, per cell and uh, Uh, in mesophyll it can uh, be from 20 to 40 uh, per cell and then next that is uh, in 1950 that uh, there was discovery of the electron microscope and uh, in 1972 the singer nicholson uh, has given the fluid mosaic model uh, accepted highly accepted uh, rbc membrane has 52% protein 40% lipid and 8% carb and uh, In eighteen ninety eight, Camillo Golgi has uh, discovered the that is uh, Golgi body. So these were some of the uh, data. Uh, factual. Then come to the uh, bio chapter bio bio molecule. So in this, like uh, uh, first, let's compare the uh, elements which are present in Earth. So C H O N S. Uh, these five element are uh, more in humans than in Earth crust. So carbon. in uh, earth crust it is 0.03 and in human it is 18.5 i think then hydrogen it is in earth crust wait hydrogen 0.14% in earth crust and in human 0.5 then oxygen uh, in earth 46.6 in human 65 nitrogen in earth very little in human 3.3 then uh, sulfur in earth uh, 0.03 in human 0.3 and sodium calcium magnesium silicon is much higher in earth crust than in human then sodium 2.8 in earth in human 0.2 uh, calcium 3.6 in human it is uh, 1.5 then magnesium uh, that is 2.1 in human it is 0.1 and silicon in earth crust 27.7 and in human it is negligible then water uh, 70 to 90% 
protein 10 to 15 percent and uh, nucleic acid 5 to 7 percent iron 1 percent uh, lipid 2 percent and carb it is 3 percent so after that is there is uh, enzyme uh, six classes of enzyme and uh, four to 13 subclasses and they are named according to four digit number so uh, oxidoreductase or dehydrogenase then transferase and lyase uh, third is the lyase and after uh, hydrolase then fifth isomerase and lycases uh, just check then lycase 6.5.1.1 so cofactor so the whole enzyme it is composed of apple enzyme and the cofactor so different cofactor there that is one is prosthetic uh, prosthetic group it is organic and uh, uh, formally attached to the apple enzyme and uh, that is example heme in uh, the heme is the prosthetic group in the uh, enzyme catalase and peroxidase then uh, that is uh, Co uh, vitamin and it's a coenzyme uh, in the NAD, NADP uh, like vitamin niacin B5 and uh, then uh, metal co uh, one of the cofactor is the metal and uh, uh, it is also activator of like zinc is the alcohol uh, dehydrogenase and uh, alcoholic dehydrogenase and then of the protein pro carboxy peptide is a protein of so it is uh, it has been seen that if we will remove the cofactors then enzyme uh, can't function efficiently then uh, uh, there is the km value that is the michaelis me mechanics constant and it states that uh, the uh, when uh, v uh, Km is that value when uh, velocity reaches to maximum half of the maximum velocity and then next is the so uh, there is an enzyme that is the uh, carbonic anhydrase which is present in the RBC and it catalyzes the formation of the carbonic acid from the H2 and CO2 and uh, that is uh, carbonic acid formation of uh, carbonic acid and uh, in the absence of carbonic anhydrase the reaction the product is 200 molecule per hour and in the presence of the enzyme carbonic anhydrase it is uh, six uh, that is six lakh molecules per second so uh, reaction time increase 10 million times uh, so enzyme function efficiently uh, at uh, organic or the enzyme of living organism function at, uh, at a range like at 40 degree centigrade they will uh, damage and but of thermus aquaticus enzyme and that is stack polymerase they can even function at the 80 to 90 degree centigrade so these were some of the points about the biomolecule now come to the uh, cell cycle cell division so what we are going to study in this there is a mitosis meiosis so all of the processes are similar in mitosis and meiosis how can we differentiate that uh, why we do mitosis we do uh, we are doing this to the just to uh, restore the nucleo, uh, nucleocytoplasmic ratio and uh, in meiosis uh, it is divided into the two that is the meiosis one and meiosis two and in chrom chromosome number half in becomes half in the anaphase one and in anaphase two it doesn't uh, there is splitting is there of centromere but the chromosome number doesn't get uh, halved it is uh, it got halved during the first anaphase anaphase one at that time there is the uh, dna reduction in the d amount of dna and uh, uh, meiosis one is divided into the five phases that is lz pds curl leptotin cycotin pegitin diplotin diakinesis leptothread like stage bouquet stage under microscope it can be seen then uh, zygotin pairing is started of homologous chromosome then uh, uh, pegitin now there is a uh, uh, in pegitin stage there is a uh, and in uh, leptotin stage zygotin stage uh, uh, electron microscope uh, study shows that it is accompanied by the formation of the complex uh, structure that is the uh, synaptonemal complex and then zygotin in zygo uh, pegitin there is a crossing over and at the end of the pegitin crossing over and by the help of the enzyme recombinase and after the pegitin there is a 
डिप्लोटीन एंड इन दिस डिप्लोटीन स्टार्ट विद द डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ द सिलेप्टोनिमल कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड एट द एंड ऑफ डिप्लोटीन द होल सेपरेट्स देर इज डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ द सिलेप्टोनिमल कॉम्प्लेक्स एक्सेप्ट द एट द साइट ऑफ क्रॉसिंग ओवर and that is there is a formation of chiasmata and uh, in diakinesis there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis is just similar like the transition to the metaphase and uh, there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis and there is separation of the chiasmata and diakinesis uh mitosis is the main division of the uh, growth and uh, for uh, if there is varying varying and tearing in the tissue or in the uh, whatever places so it is the main division and in meiosis and fertilization uh, restore the uh, that is the chromosome number or the karyotype of any uh, species euploidy is possible in uh, po- uh, plants they can survive uh, but animals can't survive if there is a condition of few produces there uh, so next what uh, uh, an important conclusion we can get from this so these were some of the points uh, nothing special is there in the cell cycle and cell division and uh, in yeast uh, bacteria cycle is of 20 20 minute in yeast it's of 90 minute and in human it's of 24 hours so these were some of the points about so for second and third unit of uh, biology so that's all for today thanks for watching